Right now, as you're watching this, how many times have you already thought about checking your phone? If you're like most people, that urge hits you every few minutes. You're not weak. You're not addicted. You're responding exactly as designed. Tech companies employ teams of neuroscientists, behavioral economists, and data scientists with one goal. Capture and hold your attention. They've turned your devices into digital slot machines, complete with variable reward schedules that keep you coming back for more. Every notification is carefully crafted. That red badge on your app? It triggers the same neural pathways as a casino's flashing lights. The endless scroll feeds your brain a constant stream of novelty, releasing tiny hits of dopamine with each swipe. Your brain learns to crave this stimulation, creating what researchers call a dopamine deficit state when you're not engaged with your device. The fear of missing out isn't just anxiety, it's engineered urgency. Social media platforms use sophisticated algorithms to show you just enough interesting content to keep you scrolling, but never quite enough to feel satisfied. They've weaponized your social instincts making you feel disconnected when you're offline. The consequences reach far beyond screen time. Your prefrontal cortex, the brain region responsible for focus and decision-making, weakens with constant task switching. Studies show it takes an average of 23 minutes to fully refocus after a digital interruption. Most people never get there because the next ping arrives first. This fractured attention shows up everywhere you start reading an article but abandon it halfway through. Conversations feel shallow because part of your mind is elsewhere. Work projects take twice as long as they should. You feel busy but unproductive, anxious but unable to pinpoint why. Your relationships suffer too. When your attention is constantly divided, you can't form deep connections. You're physically present but mentally scattered. Friends and family compete with algorithms designed by billion-dollar companies to be more engaging than real life. Here's what's crucial to understand. This isn't a willpower problem. You're not failing to resist temptation. You're responding normally to abnormal stimuli. These platforms employ the same psychological techniques used in gambling, deliberately designed to override your conscious decision-making. The average person checks their phone 96 times daily. That's once every 10 minutes during waking hours. Each check fragments your attention a little more, making sustained focus increasingly difficult. Your brain adapts to expect constant stimulation, making quiet moments feel uncomfortable rather than peaceful. Recognizing this isn't personal weakness, but systemic manipulation is the first step toward reclaiming your focus. Your attention is your most valuable resource, and understanding how it's being hijacked puts you back in control.